the, the one incident that people have mentioned is the Zimbabwe Musicians Day, where you were conspicuous by your absence. Well, um, uh, actually, I, I, I don't want to be used. That is something, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I mean, that is uh, a point I must make clear to everyone. I don't want to be used. I'm a name, right? If I'm a name, I don't want to be used. But just the, because, I mean, for to to to. Uh, but but the fact that you you are a big name could actually be your strength that uh, you may bring the little names and make them big. You you are a big brother. You, you have that's a what brother. I say. That's why I said uh, we are organizing everyone to come together. This uh, what do you call it uh, musicians' day. I don't know what it stands for. I, I actually don't know what it stands for. Maybe uh, uh, the man who, who came up with this idea uh, can, I mean, give you a better explanation. Moses Maria reports. As one of the popular musicians on the local scene, Thomas Mafumo will be crowned king of the Chimurenga music. The honor comes in the wake of the contribution Mafumo has made to the development of local music. Clive Malunga of Jenaguru Music Productions. We are also going to put up a star corner, George Slundika and First Street, a star called uh, written uh, Thomas Mapfumo, the king of Chimurenga music. We have also four groups from outside who are also going to participate at the event. We have the likes of uh, Amza Kalala, Lubumbashi Stars and uh, many more. In addition to looking after the welfare of the families of the deceased musicians, part of the proceeds from the gate takings will be donated to the child survivor. It was a night of pomp, music, and fanfare as iconic Zimbabwean music legend Thomas Mukanya Mapfumo was crowned the king of Chimurenga music. He was presented with a 21 gold carat medal inscribed with his new title by Comrade Nathan Shamiarira, the Minister of Public Service and Social Welfare, as well as chairman of Chinaguru Music Festival. Speaking at the ceremony, Dr. Shamiarira said Mukanya Thomas Mapumo's music inspired freedom fighters, and after independence, his music continued to inspire nation building. Therefore, it was prudent to honor such a musician. In accepting the award, Thomas Mapumo expressed his gratitude to the people of Zimbabwe for supporting his music and honoring him. Clive Malunga of Jinaguru Music Promotions said they were going to install a plaque in First Street written, Thomas Mukanya Mapfumo, King of Chimurenga Music. Mr. Malunga said this was a sign of total independence since before 1980, no African was allowed to walk in First Street. Talking about this event, music analyst Mr. Jari said such events organized by Jinaguru Music Promotions were very good since they are similar to those being held in other countries, such as in the United Kingdom, where the Walmart Festival showcases several musicians from different countries. <laughs>